I've been up since 5.30 this morning. It's right now, it is 6, sorry, 5.50 as I'm doing this video. Uh, having problems sleeping just because, you know, my mind's spinning because of this, this um, exam that's coming up this morning at 9 o'clock. Uh, this fear that I have of not doing well and failing, which failing is the story that I'm telling myself. I know it is. I mean, it, doing a lot of personal development, a lot of um, courses on it, like Personal Power 2 with Tony Robbins. It's a story that I'm telling myself. The real fear is the feel of, of not being good enough. And I'm sure, I'm sure that is, is that because I fail, I don't know enough. I'm not good enough. I can't. I won't be good enough for a, a client, an employer, things like that. And I'll let people down. I'll let you know Carolyn down. I'll let you know my my grandmother down. And that I can feel I can feel the emotional response in that. You know, and I'll let myself down. You know that I've, I've worked so hard that I'm not doing this and. All that pressure that I'm putting on myself is really detrimental to my growth. And I remember Tony Robbins saying, "The past does not equal the future." So I got to change my mindset. I got to flip that around and have the belief and this the that one. This is nothing but a learning experience, good or bad. Everything that I do is not, is going to be teaching me something. So if I pass, awesome. I learned that through my experience. If I don't pass, awesome. I learned from the experience and I have to ask myself some good questions. What do I need to do? What did I learn from this experience? What did I learn from this experience? It's the, probably the best question. You know, and then, you know, where do I need to go and how do I, what do I need to implement to keep going and keep being strategic. And I can't be down on myself. That's the thing that I'm learning is I can't be hard on myself. I got to keep learning, got to keep developing. I gotta enjoy the process. I gotta make sure that through it, yeah, it might be a little frustrating, but I gotta, as soon as I get in that state, I gotta change it. And that's what I'm learning from this. So, that's my morning section right now. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted on how the day goes. But yeah, that's what's going on at, you know, five minutes to six this morning. And a couple hours, I'm gonna be going toward, going to, Write this cert and then I'll let you know how things go. I'm just on my way to go write the CompTIA Security Plus exam. It should take me about 10, maybe 15 minutes to get there. And then I uh, have to register, uh, confirm all my ID and all that, and then go write the, the test. So you saw this morning I was up early. I went, took another nap, just try to get enough sleep. Got some water uh, as well for, just to make sure I stay hydrated. I'm still nervous as balls. Uh, trying to get over the kind of the jitters. But, uh, you know, I, I feel I'm gonna do I'm gonna do well. I'm gonna do well on this uh, this test, and um, I've set myself up for after the fact that I'm gonna go out and celebrate. Either way, I'm gonna go watch the Transformers uh, movie that just came out tonight, so or actually came out today. So I'm gonna go watch that, have some fun, go for like date night. Just relax and unwind, and then get get back into the swing of things uh, tomorrow uh, and start studying again. Hopefully, 
CompTIA Security Plus is completed, and then I can start working on Certified Ethical Hacker, uh, and just keep working towards my goal of becoming a cybersecurity professional. So I'm a little excited. I'm nervously excited. Uh, I know that there's not much I can do at this point. I uh, just memorized a few things on the way out, uh, like the OSI OSI model. Uh, PDNT spa. I just thought of that and kind of the, the, the first letter kind of created my own acronym, uh, which is physical data link network transport and then uh, spa uh, session presentation application. Just to keep that in my mind as I, I'm going through, I, I know uh, they give you a little bit of a sketch pad that I'm going to write some stuff down just to kind of keep my mind on what I need. And I don't think the last time there was too many OSI model questions, but it's a pool of questions, so you never know what you're gonna get. Uh, so we'll see We'll see how things go. I'll keep you posted. I'm gonna get over there and get, my, get this test written and see how things go. So I just finished my test, uh, a little pissed off. I got 703, uh, I needed 750 to pass. So, uh, so close. I know I'm almost there. It's just a few areas I, I'm not as strong as when it comes to like scenario bases, which I, I understand when it comes to scenarios, uh, it's something that I'm not really familiar with because I'm not studying. I'm like, I'm not working in a network. So when they're asking about securing a topology and, and doing all doing different configurations I don't work currently on switches routers uh, DHCP devices ND, NDSs or NDISs all right uh, HDISs which is uh, network uh, or ND NIDS or HIDS which is host based intrusion detection system or network based intrusion detection system so I don't work on those so it's kind of like I just it's just I'm just frustrated I'm just frustrated to hell because I'm so close right and I just got to get back and like I said I got to get back just learn from this experience what do I need to know I need to really dive deep over the next uh, this week and next weekend this weekend uh, dive deep into uh, encryption AES uh, triple des things like that I still need to get that down pat I don't know that as well as I should um, scenario bases what was the other area I was a little weak on oh they asked me a question about radius uh, that how to configure a radius server I was like, I don't know. I've never worked on a radius server. Right? But they're asking me how to configure it. So and it was a scenario based. So just things like that. Just frustrated. So I'm going to go home. Uh, it's 1041. I'm going to grab some breakfast. Just relax. Uh, kind of take this, the rest of the day a little bit lighter. And then uh, get back into studying tomorrow. And then I'm going to rebook my exam for the end of... June, I'm I'm not gonna give much time because I'm gonna I'm gonna knock this thing off. All right, enough's enough. So that's what I'm working on. Uh, just like wanting to keep you guys posted, and yeah, just trying to keep the right mindset as I keep going forward. It just oh, I just wish I would have got it. You know, so close, but you know, I need to I need to study, need to keep learning. So right now it's in the afternoon. Uh, it's around three thirty three. Kind of interesting, 333. Uh, I think it's the sign of the angels, the numbers of the angels. Something, if you look into numerology, things like that. Uh, but I've been relaxing, unwinding, de-stressing, kind of getting out that frustration that, damn it, exam number two. Uh, have a good support group around me. I'm going to relax a little bit more. But I've been, the past hour to two hours, I reviewed what CompTIA sends out, uh, what areas you're, uh, that you need to review, 
and then I realized that when I bought my voucher, my rewrite, I actually purchased a CompTIA's masterclass, which basically coincides with what areas I need to review. Well, basically they go through the whole course, but what happens is they go one, zero, and then this topic, one, one point one, this topic. And that's the whole course they provide in the outline. So I'm going to be reviewing that over the next uh, three, four days. I have 14 days until I'm able to uh, schedule my rewrite. So for the next 14 days, I am going to cram and just make sure I know these areas that I'm weak on. And also make sure that I, re I review the ones that I am co currently ha I have knowledge of. And just keep going. I have, you know, this is, for me, this is my livelihood. This is something I, I'm passionate about. And I'm not going to give up. I mean, it might take me a little bit longer. Uh, I might have to push through and go through a little bit of heartache and frustration. But I'm going to keep doing it. I'm not going to stop. I mean, cybersecurity is something I enjoy. I'm passionate about. I'm interested in. Uh, I have that mindset to, to learn as well as to, to figure things out. Like, you know, think in a criminal mindset and, you know, how would I compromise? How would I break in? And what would I do? And then, you know, because I'm ethical, I want to know then, okay, if I know that, then how would I secure it? And that's what I'm learning. That's what I'm constantly learning. So really excited about it. You can tell I got back into the kind of a better mindset and better uh, mindset and kind of a different, st a better state. And this afternoon, I'm just going to relax, go out, have date night, dinner, um, Go watch the Transformers, then get back at it uh, tomorrow morning. Yeah, get back at it tomorrow morning and just study my ass off. So that's really uh, all I really have to kind of report right now this afternoon. I'm going to kind of relax, unwind, and I'll catch up with you a little bit later. So I'm just finishing up my day. I uh, had a date night, good dinner. Went out, saw the Transformers. Eh, not the best movie that uh, I've seen, uh, but I don't want to spoil it for anyone, so no. But see it. Let me know what you think. Uh, comment below. So a little bit of a hectic day. A uh, little bit of a disappointment, but you know, just gotta get get my mindset right. Keep going. Keep focusing on. This is the, the path I want to do. Like, I really want to be a cybersecurity uh, professional. So, it's just going to keep consistent. You're never going to be perfect. I'm never going to be, you know, 100%. But it's just the resilience of just keep going. Failures are nothing but more, nothing but teaching experiences. And that's just going to remind myself. So, that's it for today's video. I don't want to make it too long. I know this video is pretty long as is. Uh, so just want to remind you, software is hackable, being connected is vulnerable, and I'll see you tomorrow.